Now, there are many different beliefs about creation and different ideas of how creation came about. And there's the main theory within science, which is the Big Bang. The main theory of how we came about, how we came to be in existence. And many people have many different spins on this. There are religious people who believe that God created the Big Bang. There are people who are atheistic who believe that the Big Bang was a naturalistic process and the development of the universe purely naturalistic rather than being a creation like process by a being, a all-powerful being, as the theists tend to believe. You also have the young earth creationists, or various forms of young earth creationists, who believe the earth is only several thousand years old. Uh, six to ten thousand is usually the way in which Christian young earth creationists go about it. There are several new age movements who believe the earth are, uh, is basically only a hundred thousand years old, or thereabouts. And the Destiny cults, so the Destiny group, believe that the Earth, or this existence, the whole of reality, is only a very young existence in the scale of things and was created as a reality matrix by reptilians, by a chieftain reptilian, the god of, of the reptilians, Anu. And the Anunnaki, his fellow gods, reptilian gods, who created this reality, whether as the reality as a whole, or simply this earth as a matrix. But either way, they created a matrix of reality for this dimension, this vibrational state, which took us from being like energetic, sound-based beings who work as resonances to being physical and trapped within false reality. And the Estonians believe that through their processes they can release people from this reality which was created by reptilians. Through their processes, through their structural resonance alignment training, they can liberate people from this fixed vibrational state. So basically they believe this reality, or at least this dimensional existence, this particular earthly, solid, matter-based existence was created by lizards. That's really fucked up, isn't it? Destiny try to claim but they're the ones who are awake and everyone else. You're the ones who are brainwashed because you don't accept destiny as being the truth. No matter how ridiculous some of the beliefs are, if you don't accept it, you are brainwashed by the world, by the Illuminati or whatever. That's their attitude. You know, the people who aren't brought into their belief, indoctrinated by Bernard, you are brainwashed, according to them. Ridiculous isn't it? The idea that they're not brainwashed, but you're brainwashed just because you don't believe automatically that what they say is true. Because you watch TV, because you listen to music, because you enjoy your life, you're brainwashed. However, if you shave your head, begin to follow blindly the ideas of a single man and so many different beliefs, it's ridiculous. You're not brainwashed? It's pathetic. It's clearly bullshit. Bernard Pullman has stated in the past that he is the beast of revelation. Whether this is meant to be taken literally, or meant to be a metaphor, or meant to be linking into his esoteric and mystical beliefs, could be debated. But he has stated that he's the beast of Revelation. Now whether you believe in the book of Revelations or not, I personally do not. The idea of an individual in charge of a group where he's the absolute leader, calling himself the beast of Revelations, 
otherwise known as the Beast of the Pit. Let's just say that's pretty damning stuff. And it's not exactly going to help people who are in Christianity to actually go into his group, which he wants to make the New World Order. What on earth is Bernard Pullman on? Calling himself the Beast of Revelations when he gets a bit frisky and he gets a bit uh, worked up. I mean, that's pure, pure ridiculousness, surely. The bizarre thing about Destiny compared to nearly every other spiritual group is that Destiny admires Hitler and Nazism. They admire Hitler, a genocidal totalitarian, a prejudicial hater. And these are the things they stand against. They stand against tyranny, against abuse, against hatred, against prejudice. And yet they admire Hitler. And Bernard Pullman, as well as Sonnet's spies, has said that Hitler only killed those people, only did the war out of love. What planet are these people on? It takes a special kind of mind state to see past the rational into something new. The problem is, if you are so special with your mind state, how do you know it's really true? Where is the line drawn between genius and madness? Between being a special individual and being an insane individual? As I see it, the destiny belief is completely irrational. The idea that Hitler wasn't so bad, or Hitler was a nice guy, it's a bit pathetic. Admittedly, I think people sometimes put too much emphasis upon Hitler's, well, role in the Holocaust. But his idea was by any means possible, deal with the Jewish problem, and so the SS and various high-ranking Nazis they came up with the final solution. Hitler was not an innocent man by any means in the war or in the Holocaust. And yet Destiny try and make out he was not such a bad guy. It's a bit pathetic really, isn't it? So Destiny, they believe there's an Illuminati, a world elite which was originally created by reptilians and they used certain individuals, they overshadowed them or controlled them or shapeshifted to manipulate world events through these individuals, these world leaders. They now believe that this reptilian dimensional hierarchy is gone. The aliens, the reptilian aliens in a different dimension are gone, according to them according to their strange cultic belief. And they want to become now, and they have since they have been conceived since 2007, 2006 at the earliest, they've wanted to become the New World Order, and they stated this in 2010 quite clearly in a couple of videos, and since. They want to become a New World Order, of equality, equality of race, equality of sex and sexuality. And yet, they're run by a leader who can never be wrong. They follow a belief which is definitely the truth, the one and only truth. Imagine such a system in place. A system of so-called equality before an absolute truth with an absolute leader. It sounds like perhaps Nazism, Communism. Okay, maybe not, maybe not Nazism for that matter, 
because they didn't have equality in there. But communism, yeah. Kind of like ripping off the Soviet Union or communist China or possibly, and indeed more lightly, considering their brainwashing techniques. Probably more like North Korea or Pol Pot's Cambodia or Mao Zedong's Red China. A domineering regime based around the absolute power of a single individual over the rest in the name of the greater good, in the name of equality. It sounds like religious communism. That's what destiny sounds like. It's ideas for a world state. It sounds like a religious communist state. Domineering to the extreme. Controlling. Forcing people to do as they desire. And there's even talk from the Destonians of a forced labour programme. Four years of your life to hard labour, to become self-honest, and to prop up the state. Yeah, equality, but equality at what cost? What makes a Destonian not a cult member? They act like a cult. They think like a cult. They are in a belief. A blind belief, a belief based around certain ideas which have been created, made up by Bernard Pullman, said to be true, and they believe. They believe their leader cannot be contradicted, that their leader is always right, so they are cult members. They donate money, encourage other people to donate money, they go on courses, the structural resonance alignment training. They buy merchandise. They try and encourage others to join. How are Destonians not in a cult? They seem to be a cult. They seem to be a cultic group in a cult mentality, funding an organization with a single leader. They are a cult. And as a result, they are cult members.